right there. Hey guys, uh, this week on Tactical Rifle, we are at Airborne School with the Round Canopy Parachute Team in Palatka, Florida, of all things. Before we get into it, I want to tell you guys all about it, but before we do, I want to give a big shout out to our sponsor, Sportsman's Guide, is sponsoring this video. I want you guys to support them, because here's the deal. I can't bring you guys these free videos without the support of my sponsors. So check them out, support them. The reason why Sportsman's Guide stepped off on this one is, you know, they do camping, they do guns, they do ammo, they do all that stuff, but they also have a military surplus part. So you want some of these old, uh, old uniforms, uh, cots, rucksacks, all that stuff, ammo cans. You know, I love my ammo cans. You get all that stuff from Sportsman's Guide. You can see, literally, these guys have got historic aircraft. You'll see guys out there that are wearing historic uh, World War II uniforms, Vietnam uniforms, a little bit of everything. It's awesome, right? But here's the deal. You don't have to be an old World War II vet, or a Vietnam vet, a special ops vet. You don't have to do that. Literally, anybody can come to this school, right? So. Um, you guys know I love my son. You know, uh, I have done a lot of weird shit in my life. I have a lot of regrets. Um, I've done a lot of messed up stuff. But I honestly, I only have one real regret. And that is literally uh, that when the towers fell, all my back-to-back -back deployments, I missed 10 years of my son growing up, right? So um, I'm always looking for ways to get that time back with my son. Well, Sergeant Major Rick Lem, you've seen his videos here on our channel. He literally said that last year he brought his son with him down here to the Round Canopy Parachute Club, and then they went and jumped into Normandy for the anniversary of the D-Day invasion. Is that not awesome, right? We seize the opportunity. Now, we may not be able to get to Normandy this year simply because of COVID, uh, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna pass up the opportunity to spend some time with my son. So here's the deal. Day one of this course, these guys are going to put me through Jump Master Refresher. Now, that's not just, hey, airborne, roll left, roll right. No, they literally, they take the entire U.S. Army Jump Master course and they compress it down into a single day. So not only did I have to be able to do JMPI on the pairs. Now, remember, I was a static line Jump Master, uh, but I, and then I went on to a Halo team in fifth group and I went on to be a halo jump master, okay? So I've got my star above my halo wings, I've got my star above my static line wings, but here's the deal. The last time I did a static line parachute, round parachute static line jump master was when my company jumped into Ethiopia in 1997. I want that to sink in what year it is now. So literally I have not done static line jump master duties since 1997. So what does that mean? These guys, they take me through JMPI, the jump master parachute inspection. Now the riggers pack the chute, you put the chute on, you think you've done everything correct, you trust the rigger to have done everything correct, but that one last check before you get in the, air, in the aircraft, that is literally the jump master uh, parachute inspection. He checks you from top to bottom. There's a certain sequence. You've got to do it a certain way so you don't miss nothing. I had forgotten everything. I didn't even remember you had to start with the helmet. Uh, not at all, but they're going to take me through it. I'm going to learn all of this. I'm going to learn that sequence. From there, we're going to learn about how to properly watch guys doing uh, PLF, so Mako, your, your um, pre-jump all of that stuff, you're gonna be able, we're gonna have to be able to do all, and they're gonna let some of the students actually teach blocks of that uh, because they start airborne school tomorrow, all right? Now, after that, we're gonna do actions in the aircraft. We've gotta be able to do not just the jobs of the safety, if you're not the primary or assistant jump master, but that safety has to be able to do all of that stuff, pulling D-bags in, all that. But then, the grand finale, these guys are gonna allow me, inshallah, God willing, to jump master not just one or two lifts, but the goal is I am going to be able to take my son and we're gonna do a combat jump. In other words, the jump master is gonna lead his uh, stick out of the airplane 
going to be my son as the number one jumper behind me, and then Emery, Chad, the rest of the whole TR crew. We've got, we've got friends of the uh, Tactical Rifleman family that have come in to jump with us. We've got Jerry J here. We've got Leif LeBlanc. There's a couple other guys that we didn't even realize were coming down. So big shout out to all of you guys for coming here. It's gonna be awesome, right? Now, remember, I have also haven't jumped static line in quite a while, but my son has never, ever jumped static line. Chad was in the 101st Airborne, but he's a dirty, nasty leg. Right? He's never, ever jumped airborne. Emery, right, Israeli special ops, he hasn't jumped in a long time. All of us have to go through the basic uh, jump, uh, basic airborne course again. Now, again, that's, that's two, three weeks down there at Fort Benning, Georgia. Not here. Here they condense it down. It's three days long. Um, they start off, again, with the parachute landing fall. You guys know how bad my knees are. Command Sergeant Major Rick Lamb hooked me up with his motorcycle racing uh, knee braces. These things are awesome. Me, 53 years old with my 90 year old knees, I can do this. I legitimately can do this. I can do this. All right, um, after that, again, we've got to learn how to put on the parachute properly. We've got to learn how to stand there and do everything while the jump masters are checking us, which is kind of cool because I get to be one of the jump masters for that inspecting the parachutes. We're gonna do actions in the aircraft. We're gonna start off with this little itty bitty plane called the Cessna 182. This little piece of junk could basic, it basically could hold a pilot, a co-pilot, and uh, some takeout dinner, right? But they don't have a co-pilot. They've ripped that seat out. You basically have the pilot sitting there, first jumpers leaning up against the dashboard of the airplane with his legs facing to the rear. The second jumper is actually leaning against the pilot. And then the jump master sits, kneels over the top of the first jumper's legs. You get up to altitude, they do all the jump commands, all that stuff. They pop the door open. And then the first jumper wiggles his legs out from underneath the jump master, hangs them outside the airplane. Maybe if you're tall enough, you can reach that uh, landing gear strut. If not, sucks to be you. And you're hooked up, you're ready to go. They give you the tap and you fall. Um, that's gonna be my son's first jump. Gonna be a little scary. Mm, uh, uh, honey, if you're watching this video, please don't be mad at me. I didn't twist your son's arm too much. He's here on his own accord. The funny part is the second jumper doesn't get to go out. They got to go all the way back around. And while they're in there, they get to play airplane twister, getting that jump master out of the way so the second jumper can then uh, slide up in there, get hooked up, and then they open the door again, and they're dropping one jumper at a time. Kind of cool, going to be scary as hell. Uh, grunt style gear. Uh, you know, Grunt Style, the t-shirt company, they've got, the, they sponsor these guys at the Round Canopy Parachute Club. They've got some of their uh, girls here, and they're awesome from what we've seen so far. They're totally badass, and uh, yeah, I'd love to bring them on deployments. Let's just put it that way. All right, um, that's not the grand finale. You just saw that beautiful C-47 airplane. That's right. After everybody's got their first three jumps, Breathe in, breathe out. They're gonna bring in the old World War II war horse, the C-47. This one is actually called the Tycho Bell. This plane literally, by serial number, this exact plane dropped two, uh, two separate missions dropping paratroopers during World War II, and it also towed one of the gliders, uh, literally. And then it went on to do the, uh, what do you call it, uh, the Berlin drop where they're dropping supplies, and this is a combat decorated museum piece that still works, and the Tactical Rifleman crew is gonna have a chance to do every bit of this. So hey, sit down, enjoy the video, and uh, trust me, I hope you enjoy it, but there's no way that you're gonna be able to enjoy it as much as we did here. Uh, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, you know the deal, I need you guys to support our sponsors. Uh, Sportsman's Guide stepped up to do this for us so that you guys can deliver, uh, so we can deliver you guys those awesome, awesome videos. There she goes. It's going to be badass. 
You know the deal, take care and shoot straight. Awesome. Just awesome. That's awesome. Mom, Nick said it was awesome. Your family got to watch you fall out of a perfectly good airplane. Thank you for introducing me to it. No, dude. This has been awesome. This has been awesome. 
Awesome. Go, turn in your shoots, guys. Go. Go. Yeah. Go away. Way to go, go away. Way to go, Nick. Thank you. Go away. Why are you still here? Go away. <laughs> go. Go away. Uh, this is day three of jump school. Uh, Chad just finished his third jump, third jump on the Cessna 182, but the rest of the Tactical Rifleman crew, they are getting ready to get on the C-47 Tico. Gentlemen, this plane is an actual World War II vintage aircraft. Now, reproduction is actually one of the ones that towed a glider into the D-Day invasion. So, uh, this is the real deal. That's what we're jumping for that.
motherfucking shoot. Fucking beautiful. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, 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 yep. Yeah, Nick. Oh, that's Carl. Hey, brother. <laughs> good jump. Fuck yeah. Excellent jump. A very excellent jump. So guys, this is not just your local skydiving jump club. Um, Literally, you, and they're everywhere. They're all across the U.S. I came to the Round Canopy Parachuting Team because this is a professional product right here, without a doubt, professional product. Um, they keep you safe, and I, I, this is this is the most professional put-on program I have ever seen, brother. All right, um, but the, again, this is not government-funded. This is literally. Um, you're, this is nonprofit. We, we are a nonprofit. Yes, we are a nonprofit. And again, we we live by our shoestring budget. So, any any of your followers out there that want to help out a nonprofit that are helping veterans, please send them send their money or send their people to us. If you can't come because this is just not your thing, that's fine. It's not for everybody. I got that. But brother, to keep this alive for the rest of us, for those vets and stuff, these guys need help. Uh, Comment section down below the video. We've got all the details down there so you can reach out to these guys. And uh, hey, you're a truck driver and you can get five bucks or you own all the car dealerships and you can give a little bit more. Uh, whatever it is, I'm gonna do my best to support these guys. Right. And brother, just thanks for everything Thank you're doing. Thank you, brother. Carl, I, I wanna give you something oh, for the sure. members to see. When you become a member, you get a coin uh, from RCPT, you see our host nations that we jump with. Wow, that's awesome. So it'd be an honor for me to give this to you, brother. Dude, all right. You know I collect coins. That's right. That so, is awesome. So uh, I've got to actually get out of here. I know. I'm on that next He's lift. He's on the next lift. Thank lip. you guys out there, RCPT USA. Please just give us a chance, and uh, we'll make it right for you, just like we did. We will, dude. Just like Carl and Nick. Sincerely, thank, thank, you, thank sir. you so much. All right, brother. Thank you very much. Awesome. All right, he's got to get these jumpers in the air. You guys know the deal. Support these guys. Help them keep this afloat. Yeah. And uh, you know, you know the deal. Keep going, shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.